what to do nowadays. Getting ready to change the oil in Leroy, my Volvo, my 2009 Volvo 780 with the D16 motor in it. How much oil? 44 quarts. You done this before? Nope. Uh oh. First time for everything, Matt. We're Dave and Karen from Watts on Wheels, and we sold our sticks and bricks to RV full time now that we are retired. We travel with our heavy duty truck Leroy, our two KM motorcycles, our DRV Dixie, and our smart car Zippy. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we post a new video. So, what are you going to start with here? Well, first thing I did was I started up Leroy and I turned the wheels out to the right so I can get up in there and get to the oil filters a little easier. Okay. And then I got my rug. Got to have that to lay on. Mm -hmm. and then I got this storage container and it's 66 quarts. So I hold 44 quarts of oil. Oh. So hopefully it'll all fit in there. And then I have the oil I'm putting back in it. Right there, 15W40, and it is a synthetic blend. And then I have one and a quarter inch wrench for the drain plug. I have a wrench for the oil filters. And you gotta use a heavy duty one. Gotta use a heavy duty one, and that's what the half inch ratchet's all about. That goes right in here, so you can wrench it. Of course, the funnel to put the oil back in. I got a hammer, and then I have a uh, scratch all. And what you do with that is, you, after you loosen the filters, you take this and bang, poke a hole in the bottom of the filters, and you let the filters drain out that way instead of oil going every which way. Okay. Then, then I have the nitrile gloves. Uh huh. And then I have an oil pump. So I can pump the oil out of this thing and back into the bottles once I've put all the oil into the engine. Okay. And then I have a gallon of diesel fuel. I know it's in the wrong container. <laughs> and that's to fill up the fuel filter when I put it back on. I got two oil filters, one bypass filter fuel filter and a water separator filter. Hopefully that's all I'm going to need. Which are right there. All three of those are oil filters? Yep. What size oil filter wrenchy thing did you have to get there? This is three and three quarters to four and a half. See how I can get in here. Good God Almighty! Oh, they said you don't want to tighten them too much, or else you'll have a big problem. Apparently, the guys who changed it last time didn't know that. To tighten it too much. They didn't know that rule. They didn't. So, what you gonna do here? Put another oh. extension on it. Uh -huh. Make it longer. Uh -huh. Then I'm going to use the breaker bar. Damn! Ugh. Moved a little bit. You just got to get it so you can do it by hand. I just want to make sure, yeah, I got it loose enough to where it will come off. What's it cost for an oil change at a service center? $580. You do this once a year? Yeah, once every 10,000 miles. Actually, 44 quarts you can go, I think it's 18,000 miles. But you do it every year regardless? Yeah. As long as I see it moving. Good thing you had your Wheaties today. I didn't. Oh. <laughs> this is going to require a beer or two. You ain't lying. 
this is gonna be fun. Try not to get in your face. <laughs> yeah. It's already starting to leak. Where'd you learn this trick? Online. YouTube? YouTube. that do just help relieve the pressure so you can get them off no what's it good what's it do it drains them oh the filters themselves yes okay so when you take them off you don't have oil going don't every which way oil. we're at the marina they got an oil depository there don't they they do that's they do good oil. Got our sunshades and stuff up here. Decided the wind decided to pick up a little bit. Don't want the oil blowing anywhere. What you doing now? Just checking the seals. So far, so good. So far, so good. That's the oh. bypass filter going in. That's the first one in line there, huh? Yep. And what you want to do is you want to hand tighten it. And then give it about a quarter turn with the wrench here. Come on. There we go. It moved a little bit. And just rolled it out. It's got wheels on it. So you're going to hook your oil pump up to the truck battery? Sure enough. the holes. And that's what came out of them. So what I'll do So you transport it to that thing and then you'll transport it to the empty bottle you got there? Yeah. Strip flow, portable oil change system. there to there to inside the bottle. The main event. She blows. Well, we're going to see if this thing's 66 quarts. Looks like it's starting to slow down a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we're coming down to the end. Putting back in the drain plug now. And I'll tighten her up. Roll it back out. That's the hole where all the oil goes. Just have to pour those 11 in, one at a time. Yep. Last one. Right there, full up. But not past it. Right to there. Beautiful. All right, sucked all the oil up out of the the pan there, and put it all in bottles. So uh, now we can dispose of the oil. 
So how many beers for the oil change? I figure 44 quarts. That's equal to 22 beers. Oh, let's just call it a case. I have to agree. There we go. I like that. I like that. Okay, let's go to 30 pack. Huh? Huh? Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below, even if it's just to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe.